I slowly drifted away from the faith. Uh, there, I had n no bad experiences with the church or no traumatic stories. I just got consumed by the world and the, uh, I fell for what the media was telling you, that pursue power and prestige and money and fame. And so I found myself going down that, that path and I was very successful, went to a great college, I had a great career, had a great wife, had a great family, had money in the bank, a nice big shiny house. And next thing I know, I looked around and I was 40 years old and my life was pretty empty and pretty superficial and pretty shallow. I was silently evangelized by the car in front of me, the bumper in the car in front of me. It had a Catholic radio station bumper magnet on it. And I looked up at it and I'd seen it before, but I never thought twice about it. But this moment I was stuck in a little mini traffic jam there on the interstate trying to get downtown to my work. And I said, well, I got nothing to lose. I've been listening to this boring sports radio for several years now. And so I turned it over to the Catholic radio station, and the first voice I heard was um, Mother Angelica. And she made sense. For the first time in my life, I was hearing truth, I was hearing honesty, I was hearing love, and it was so different than what the media had been pouring into my head for 40 years that it clicked, and through the grace of God, uh, I was so happy that I got hooked onto my local Catholic radio station and listened to it nonstop. I started tapping into a world I didn't know existed out there, of all this wonderful church teaching, history, the saints, uh, that I had heard in the background before, but I never took seriously and I never owned it. And it was all because of the uh, local Catholic radio station that I got back into the faith. And the beauty about the Catholic faith is you can study it 24-7, 365, and you'll barely scratch the surface of this beautiful faith. I can't get enough of it. Uh, I listen to it nonstop. The radio station never leaves. And my, and my kids know when they get in dad's car, you don't touch the radio station. Uh, and I'm so thankful for it that I finally stopped being a secular zombie and buying what the media was selling. And I got back to truth. I got back to Christ and his church. And I realized what my life was all about. It was to get to heaven and get to my family to heaven and to get as many people around me to heaven and to uh, uh, speak the truth.